Greetings and blessed day to you once again, people of God. It's the Revelator once more, and hoping you had a great Easter celebration. Now, last time we were focusing on the seven presentations inside the Easter presentation, and we touched on many matters from the Last Supper to the final resurrection when Christ was arisen and Christ rose from the death after three days which marked a many diversity number of representations in the spirit that include grace that include being saved that signify the benefits of a Christian through the death of Jesus Christ on the cross. Now, today, we continue with our normal presentations, and today we want to focus on the rapture. The rapture. And inside the rapture, we are going to be focusing on the last hour great destruction the last hour destruction or the last hour judgment destruction so for us to understand more on this presentation let's get into scriptures in the book of matthew chapter 24 verse 1 and Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him to show him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, See you not all these things. Verily I say unto you, They shall not be left here one stone upon the other, that shall not be thrown down. And he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? Immediately at that very point of time, what Jesus was now doing was that he was already now predicting or prophesying or revealing the events that were yet to come before the last final destruction. The things that were going to happen some of the signs that we still expect some of the signs that we already witnessing right now these are some of the words that jesus was already mentioning that would enable his disciples or those that are in the next generation or those that are in this generation to know that rapture moment is now at hand but for us to know that rapture moments are now at hand jesus gave us signs which i'm going to be reading which are the same signs that he revealed to his disciples and the disciples said tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world and jesus answered and said unto them take it that no man deceives you for many shall come in my name saying i am christ and shall deceive many that is the first category that jesus revealed that many shall come in my name saying i am christ and shall be able to deceive many and when many shall come in his name claiming to be christ it simply means that these shall be coming is undercover agents of the devil disguising to be sons and daughters of light yet they won't be of this kingdom of light just as apostle paul explained talking about the devil appearing lucifer appearing as an angel of light so shall they come appearing as christ yet there will be devils Meaning that in this category or league of agents in the spirit shall not come as antichrist. They shall come as one of the sheep 
yet there will be wolves and jesus said unto them take no heed that no man deceive you and you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars and it's already happening we are hearing about world wars we are hearing of quite a number of different places where wars are happening in the middle east we are hearing even of wars recently and what is currently happening the war there that pertains russia and ukraine those are some of the signs and so many other wars that are going to be happening you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars see that you are not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet meaning that these are just signs they signal the end but these they do, do not describe the end they signal the end but these are not the end meaning that this is just the beginning what we are hearing and seeing and there shall be famines which is poverty and pestilences and earthquakes earthquakes pestilences earthquakes i have been reading and it's every moment and time again when i scroll through there are always headlines of earthquakes in different places when we talk about pestilences we are just coming out of the covid 19 virus and there are so many other virus viruses that are going to come one after the other i revealed about this at the beginning of of the year and all these are the beginning of sorrows you can imagine with all the kinds of earthquakes with all the kinds of floods the international disasters and all the pestilences jesus describes that these are just the beginning of sorrows they shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake i myself as the revelator i've actually witnessed this one whereby you get hated for the gospel meaning that there are also levels of being killed for the gospel is happening there in the middle east people are being murdered for their belief in jesus and this is just the beginning as christ explained in scripture meaning that there shall come a time when men shall not be allowed to even mention the name of jesus it's going to be a crime and all these are signs of the last hour i hope someone is understanding what the scripture is saying through the prophecies that jesus was giving as a sign then they shall deliver you to be afflicted and shall kill you and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake and then shall many be offended and shall ma many betray one another and shall hate one another and many false prophets shall rise earlier on jesus gave us a warning and hinted to us that they shall appear false christ but these are now false prophets there's a difference between false christ and false prophets false prophets are servants and false christ they are gods and the false prophets they submit under a false christ and the false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many in many numbers like what is happening we now have politicians and the prophets dining on the same table which was never something that was never like before and was never meant to be the gospel of repentance is no longer existing there's now the gospel of material prosperity and which is now calling upon many big numbers and all these are signs that christ gave us beforehand and the false prophets shall rise and deceive many in large numbers and because iniquity shall abound the love of many shall wax cold 
Meaning that people shall be filled with hatred. People shall be angry. People shall be bitter. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Which is the fruit of long suffering. And the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come afterwards. Which is the rapture. Child of God. All this that has been explained by Jesus are just signs before the rapture. Which is the last final hour. Which is the last moment when Christ shall then appear. Then in the following scriptures, Christ then says, Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Why Jesus is now saying these words, he's trying to describe how the rapture shall come and how it shall appear. He's describing it. Most people, they think rapture is all about the selection of the saints, the rejection of the unbelievers. But on that particular day of rapture, Christ is trying to give us a significance that this day is going to be so destructive. It shall be a day that shall be so tormenting. Neither let him which is in the field return back to the house to take his clothes. Meaning that Christ is trying to give us a significance, a sign that this day won't even allow you to go back into the house to take your clothes. And woe unto them that are with the child. And you can imagine those that are with children. Children need that sensitive attention. This is why Jesus is saying, woe unto them that are with with the children and to them that give suck in those days because it's going to be very critical but pray that your flight be not in the winter neither on the sabbath when christ is talking about the flight he's talking about those that take flights meaning that they are wonders not only wonders but they are massacres they are dangers they are unusual things that shall happen in the sky for then shall be great tribulation such as was not seen since the beginning of the world to this time no not ever shall be meaning that the likes of sodom and gomorrah destructions meaning that the floods that happened during noah's time meaning that the destruction that happened during the COVID 19 and all other destructions of world wars that ever happened shall not be likened to the moments that shall happen on the very day of rapture and rapture is not going to happen in one day it's going to come like a series of events one after the other and except those days should be shortened there should be no flesh that shall be saved but for the elect sake those days shall be shortened meaning that for the sake of the elect those that have been chosen by Jesus Christ. It simply means that for the sake of the elect, those that are chosen, Jesus will make sure that in those days, God will make sure that in those days, the Holy Spirit will make sure that in those days shall be shortened. Just to save for the sake of the honor of those that have been chosen by Christ. For the sake of those few that have been chosen by Christ, those days would have to be shortened. Meaning that in those days, are going to come like a series rapture is not going to happen in one day but inside those days it's going to be very ugly it's going to be very disastrous it's going to be very painful it's going to be a combination of many miseries wonders in the sky unusual things that will be happening that signal that he that lives forever would have descended upon this earth and before he has even descended upon this earth all these are the things that would have happened without him even setting his foot upon this earth but his appearance only 
and except those days should be shortened there should be no flesh that shall be saved but for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened then if any man shall say unto you lo he is christ or they believe it not meaning that before rapture there shall be many christs which are false gods that shall appear in different versions but they shall not be christ and we have already been warned of this before they come for there shall arise false christ and false prophets as already explained and shall show great signs and wonders miracles in so much that if it were possible they shall deceive even the very elect meaning that they shall deceive even the very elect the elect are those that are the chosen they might even deceive the elect or even deceive the elect behold I have told you beforehand so that you may know before these things happen that I told you wherefore if they shall say unto you behold he is in the desert go not forth behold he is in the secret chambers believe it not for as the lightning comes out of the east and shines even unto the west so shall also the coming of the son of man there are those that have tried so many times to explain about the coming of Jesus Christ that they have even calculated dates all those are false prophets for Christ is making himself clear that whoever shall signal to you that there is Christ it will be a lie meaning that the coming of Christ shall be like the coming of a thief like he has always said in scriptures the coming of Christ shall come like a shock the coming of Christ shall come as a surprise. The coming of Christ is going to come in an unexpected manner, in a way that no one can ever calculate. But we have preachers right now that are calculating rapture. They are even using calendars. A calendar that was created after the creation of this earth. They are using a calendar, a calculator to calculate days. I have never seen such dullness in the house of Christ. When Christ has said, not even the Son of Man, not even the angels in heaven knows that day, but we have preachers of the way that are calculating the coming of the Son of Man. These are the false Christs, the false gods of religion that Christ told us about. Immediately, after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give a light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of heaven shall be shaken now this description is of the last hour of judgment which is the last hour of destruction this significance that christ is now giving us the last hour of mourning the last hour of torment then shall you see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven with the power in the great glory it means in just a twinkle of an eye we shall see the son of man coming from the clouds of heaven and his appearance shall be so glorified that setting even your eye just for a second it will be so difficult because of his presence that is so magnifying that is so everlasting that is so unexplainable that is so precious he shall appear flashing he shall be like a wonder but i assure you that it will be so difficult just to set your eyes to look at his presence and he shall appear from the clouds of heaven seated on the right hand side of the father and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds and the four corners of the earth from one end of the heaven to the other meaning that the believers the true believers of christ they shall be gathered in one place before the last final hour of destruction before the massive destruction the believers shall be gathered in one place before the destruction of this entire universe and everything in it 
So likewise, when you shall see all these things, know that it that the end is near, even at the doors. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things shall be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not even the angels in heaven, but my Father only. A clear insight that no one knows that day, not even my Father in heaven, but we have preachers. We have prophets, we have pastors, we have evangelists, all these being categories of fake preachers of the word that have announced the coming of Jesus Christ. But as the day of Noah was, so shall be the coming of the Son of Man. He resembles this day as the day of Noah when people never listened and never believed that the floods were coming and the floods came. For is for as in those days that before the floods came, People were eating, drinking, many and giving marriage until the day that Noah entered in the ark. And he knew not until the flood came and took all of them. So shall be the coming of the Son of Man. Then shall two be in the field. One shall be taken and the other shall be left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill. One shall be taken and another shall be left. Watch therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord comes. But know that if this was you would have known what time is he is coming and you would have known what time to repent and you would have known that you must give your life to christ child of god i want to pray for you so that you are given the grace you are given the wisdom of revelation the knowledge and the wisdom of the holy spirit that you may might start discerning this very moment that Upon seeing the signs that are already happening, Christ is now coming. Christ is now on the doorstep. Christ coming is now beforehand. Christ coming is now not very far. I want to pray for you so that you are given the wisdom, the grace and the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Rako paso telebosita, sheko prakosida, moshi prakosida, lekose prakosida, Mashi prakosida, zekose prakosida, in the mighty name of Jesus, be given the knowledge and the wisdom to understand all these signs of his coming, so that when he comes, you are found in the right place, you are found prepared, you are found ready to be received, to live in the next life, in the name of Jesus Christ. Until next time, have a great blessed day.